Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. This quick video will be uh, about uh, how to bend, how to work with uh, acrylic sheet. Uh, I used a uh, one eight thick acrylic sheet to build a support and the arm that will attach the potentiometer to the pedal. Uh, so I thought I can show you how to do it before going any further with the project so you know all the steps of the construction of the pedal. What I'm doing right now is the arm that will attach the potentiometer to the pedals. Uh, and what I did since uh, my acrylic was only 1 8, 1 8 of inch thick, uh, I hot glue two pieces of acrylic sheet together, uh, weight enough so it so I can work with it and I cut it long enough so I can adjust everything before the final cutting. At the beginning I didn't, I didn't know exactly uh, how big or the dimension I needed to uh, build my support for the potentiometer so I just cut my piece in two and I've made two big uh, 90 degree support uh, and it's exactly what I'm doing right now. This material is pretty easy to cut, but uh, when you work with a knife, it's always important to be very careful not standing directly behind the blade and make sure your piece is very solid so you don't have to hold it with your hand and put yourself at risk. You can try to cut it with a saw, a jigsaw, but uh, a big chance that your piece will chip or break or you will crack so it will be ugly if it's not completely destroyed so uh, the best way is to use a knife and be very careful and remember to not remove the plastic on both sides before you're ready to uh, install it so you won't damage your piece Now that the piece is cut, it is now time to bend it. And if you don't have the heating table to bend plastic, the best way is to use a heat gun. But uh, again, be careful not to burn yourself because this thing is can get very hot when you use it for a certain period of time. When you're getting ready to bend your piece, it's important uh, to you to know that uh, the bending take a little amount of material so uh, it won't bend directly on your line so you have to to take 116 to 18 uh, of spare between the, the piece of wood and your line so when you will bend it it will be very close of your line it is very important that you take your time to place your piece correctly at the right position because after you start to heat your piece it's too late even if you want to change the place you want the band to go uh, it won't change you will bend where you have start eating so take your time to place your piece correctly uh, measure twice measure three times if necessary so you have to eat and start your bend only one time. Uh, this way you won't waste any material and you will hit your mark on the first shot. I'll speed up the video a bit because it's pretty slow to uh, get to the right temperature, but it is important when you're uh, eating the plastic to constantly move your uh, iron, your gun, because if you stay at the right at the same place too long you will create bubble uh, or you will completely melt it or even uh, make a hole in your plastic so it's important to always keep moving and uh, as you can see right now I'm using a uh, metal uh, 90 degrees uh, square so because the plastic is very hot and I want it to to hold steady for the time it getting a little cooler and by itself 
so uh, it's always use, useful to have a tool that can hold the piece without melting on it or so don't use another piece of plastic because it will stick on it and it will ruin your piece after seeing the size of my piece uh, I figured that it was a little too big for my needs so I decided to cut them in a half cutting this material with a band so it's fine because the blade go only on one direction but uh, if you don't have a band so I, should, I suggest that you cut your piece with a knife before bending it because after that it will, pre, it will be pretty hard to cut it this is it for now guys but at least now you know I have made my support so later in my project when you will see the support and how they are mounted on the board you will understand how to do that by yourself in the meantime please like the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so as soon as i will release the next part of this project you'll be notified i wish everybody a great week take care guys see you soon